Hi guys, Derek Ruiz here, apartment broker and tax strategist with EXP Realty Commercial. And in the short video, I want to highlight what's happening in real estate and real estate brokerages right now with all these commission lawsuits from the Department of Justice and uh, buyers and sellers against the National Association of Realtors, NAR, and major real estate brokerages around the country. I'm not sure if you've been keeping up with this or you've seen anything in the news. Let me share a couple of articles with you. <clears throat> okay, here's the first one. Justice Department says it will reopen inquiry into Realtor Trade Group. On Friday, the U.S. Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia made a ruling that opens the door for a renewed investigation into the National Association of Realtors. <clears throat> Here's another one. Uh, real estate lawsuit settlement upends decades-long policies that help set agent commissions. So let me summarize this lawsuit in an article that I'm sending you folks. The basis of the recent NAR lawsuits boiled down to the group's MLS Cooperative Compensation Rule, which was introduced in the 1990s in response to calls from consumer protection advocates for buyer representation. According to that rule, in order to list a property for sale in the MLS, the databases agents use to share properties amongst themselves, they must offer a commission to the agent who ultimately represents the buyer. Historically, this has resulted in a 5 to 6% total commission with half going to the seller's agent and half to the buyer's agent. If you've ever sold a property, you are aware of how this commission structure goes Again, let's say it's a 5% commission. The listing agent gets two and a half. And in the MLS, we publish that the buyer's agent, if there is a buyer's agent, will get two and a half percent. Well, um, apparently, for some reason, the Department of Justice and other uh, attorneys uh, said that was uh, unfair to the sellers and blah, blah, blah a bunch of legalese, a bunch of lawyers getting together and exploiting this for their gain, in my opinion. I'm not sure how this hurts people, but uh, I'm not a lawyer. I'm a real estate broker. So let me show you what they're talking about as far as the buyer's agent commission. Let me share my screen again. Okay. <clears throat> so here is a property that I have listed. It's currently in escrow at 1348 Palms Boulevard in Venice. It is a duplex development opportunity uh, listed for $2.4 million. And right here in the MLS, where I'm highlighting, it says CSO. Uh, and that's the commission to the selling office or selling broker, 2%. So right here in my listing that was taken the, this year earlier, we are offering a 2% commission published in the multiple listing service that we will pay any broker that brings a buyer that uh, makes an offer that's accepted by my client. So because of these lawsuits and the rules and regulations that are being uh, changed on us, that will not be published in the MLS anymore. So we cannot publish anything in the multiple listing service. I think it starts in July or August, 2024, that uh, again, we cannot publish a listing, excuse me, a selling commission to a broker's, um, a selling broker's uh, agent. So what does that mean? That means there will be no commissions offered to buyer's agents in the MLS. However, it's still allowable for the seller to cooperate with buyer's agents and pay a commission. The only change is now an agent that's looking at my property in the MLS has to call me and say, Derek, is your seller willing to pay a commission if I bring an acceptable offer to the table here? And most likely the seller is going to say, yeah, I mean, if it's a good offer and it's, you know, what I'm looking for, yes, I will pay a buyer's agent commission. So um, as far as I'm concerned as a listing broker, because I mainly represent sellers, uh, mainly apartment sellers, but some residential sellers as well, what's going to happen is that when we sign a listing agreement going forward, starting in July, I will be taking the listing 
at a lower commission basis, depending on the property, the size, the location, the complexity of the deal, um, the, the, the price of the listing, I will be offering one commission for myself as a listing agent. And that'll generally be like in the, you know, two to three and a half range, depending on the deal. Now, we'll put it in the MLS like always, and agents can call me to say, Derek, will your seller pay a commission? Uh, and if there is a commission to be paid, then we are going to have to have a discussion about commission when that offer comes in. Uh, how much I will be getting, how much you're willing to pay for the uh, buyer's agent. So it's kind of all in flux. And um, I'm putting this video out now, even though those rules haven't taken place yet. But going forward, in fact, I'm taking a listing next week and we are using this new commission structure, even though it's only May 2024 and the rules don't change until July and August. But I want to jump on this now because a lot of you guys out there are reading these articles and have com uh, and have questions or uh, concerns about the commission structure going forward. So the bottom line, in my opinion, is that sellers will be paying less in commission going forward. Now, uh, that assumes that the listing agent also writes the offer for the buyer and there's no other buyer's broker involved, then for sure you're going to be paying less commission, at least where I'm concerned. If there is a buyer's agent that's in the deal, then the commission will roughly be the same as before these lawsuits and this new settlement takes place. So again, um, I don't think it's going to... I don't think it's going to affect prices that you're going to be able to sell your property for. I don't think this is going to affect that at all. Bottom line, it is going to save sellers some cash uh, when they sell their property. And of course, if you guys are thinking of selling, you have any questions, concerns, you want to go over um, what the commission structure is. If you list a property with me, give me a call. I'm here to help and explain everything. Uh, we have some good information that I can send you. Um, click the link below and you can read the article, the 10 things that home buyers need to know about the new commission structure. Even though the article is geared towards home buyers, it does have information for sellers as well. And again, call me if you have any questions. I'm here to help. I've been doing this for 38 years. I've seen all kinds of changes in the real estate market since I started selling re real estate in 1986. And um, I'm sure I can help you. So, folks, I look forward to your phone calls or your emails. Hit me up and we'll go over this commission structure together. Thanks for watching. This is Derek Ruiz, EXP Realty Commercial. I'm here to help. Thanks.